This video will show how to configure the Allen Bradley Guardmaster DG Safety Relay. The DG Relay can accommodate one or two dual channel circuits. The inputs can be two garbling circuits, two channels with voltage free contacts like e-stops, two channels with OSSD signals like sensor guard switches, or a combination of the types of inputs. The DG Relay is configured using the two buttons on the front face. The indicator LEDs reveal the configuration. The LED colors can be green, red, or they can be off depending on the configuration. You should be viewing the configuration table in the user manual during the configuration process. The configuration table shows the setting for each of the indicator LEDs. For example, the out indicator shows the number of safety functions, green for two inputs or red for only one input. The in one indicator shows the type of function for input one, green for guard link or red for either OSSD or EMSS, and so on for the other indicators. Here I have a DG relay configured with a guard link circuit on input one, an e-stop button on input two, and I have a reset button, an indicator to show the out X status, and an indicator to show the 1314, 2324 safety output status. The configuration buttons are operated in two different ways. You can short press the buttons or long press the buttons. To see the current configuration, I short press the config set button. Notice how the indicator LEDs change color. This is the current configuration. I short press the config set button again to reveal the time delay setting. The number of times the bottom three indicators blink is the setting of the delay switch. In this case, the indicator is playing twice because the delay is set to two. If the delay was set to zero, there would be no indicators blinking. Now, short press one more time and the LEDs revert back to showing the operational status. To put the DG relay into configuration mode, I long press the config set button. After a short duration, the power LED will remain solid green and all the other LEDs will flash red. Release the config button and the DG goes into configuration mode. And notice also that the outputs turn off. While in configuration mode, the power indicator flashes green. You also see that the out LED is flashing green. The flashing indicates the feature that can be changed. Looking back at the configuration table, we see that the out LED will be green to activate two safety inputs, or you can press the config button to change it to red if you only wanted one safety input. Short press again to return it to green. Now, Short press the select save button to move on to the next feature. The in one LED is flashing green now. From the configuration table, you see the guard link function is selected. This is what you want, so short press the select button to move on to the next feature. The in two LED is flashing red as we have an e-stop button on input two. You should know from the table that in two LED would be off if we selected only one input. Short press the select button to move on to the next feature. The out X LED is red because you want to configure the X2 terminal to be an OSSD output. You would change it to green if you wanted the output to be a single wire safety output. Short press the select button while the color is red. The in X LED is flashing red because you do not want to use the X1 terminal as an OSSD input. You would change it to green if you wanted to enable the X1 input. Keep in mind that the X1 input will always match the type of signal configured for out X. Both would either be OSSD or single wire safety. Short press the select button while the color is red to disable the in X signal. The reset LED is flashing green, which indicates monitored reset is currently selected. If you wanted automatic reset, you would press the config button once. Short press the select button while the reset LED is green. The FB feedback LED is flashing green. This indicates that you want the reset to operate on the output function. You could have selected the reset to function only on in one by changing the LED color to red. Short press the select button to retain the current setting. The LEDs show the selections you made to allow you to double check your selections. Short press the select button again. Now you see the bottom three indicators are flashing twice, pause for four seconds, then flash again. And this process repeats. This indicates that the delay switch is set to position two. 
Let's rotate the delay switch to zero. Observe that the bottom three indicators are not flashing anymore. Now let's rotate the switch to position eight for a three second delay. You can wait and count the number of flashes if you like, or you can now proceed to save the configuration. Now comes the most important step. You save the full configuration when the indicators are just showing the delay switch setting. Long press the save button. When the indicators again show the settings you have selected, release the save button. The power fault indicator flashes green twice and then turns solid red. The DT relay is rebooting and applying the save configuration. After restarting, the indicators show the operating status. You see the IN1 and IN2 indicators are green. The OUT indicator is red because we selected monitored reset on the output. Notice that the OUTX output is on and the 13, 14, 23, 24 safety outputs are off. Press and release the reset button. The safety outputs turn on. Now, if you press the e-stop or open up the gate, you observe that the OUTX output turns off immediately and the safety outputs have a three second delay. You can confirm the operation by looking at the configuration examples in the user manual. This is in configuration 16 and has a value of 63 hex, which is 99 decimal. Looking at the logic, you can see that the out X turns on when both in one and in two are on. And you see that the safety outputs require both the feedback and reset signals to turn on, and also applies the time delay when turning off. The DG is quite a versatile safety relay that can be applied to many safety system applications. Configuration is completed simply by the two push buttons on the front face and does not require a computer for configuration. Now here's a tip. If you long press both buttons simultaneously, the DG will perform a power cycle. It's rebooting. And now it's come up in operational state and everything is good. This concludes the demonstration of how to configure the DG safety relay.